If you're new to E-Rank, Etsy, or search engine optimization, you may be holding off on paying for tools until you've made a little traction with your business, which is smart. It takes money to make money, and while investing in your business is important, it's also important to utilize free resources when you're first starting out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to perform keyword research with E-Rank if you're currently utilizing a free account. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, where we're proud to be Etsy's most popular SEO tool, especially since eRank offers a great free plan to help new sellers get started. But when you first log into eRank, you may feel overwhelmed by all of the menus, tools, and upgrade buttons. Admittedly, there is a lot to take in, but today we're just going to be focusing on keyword research so you can start boosting your listing's visibility in search. After you've logged in and connected your Etsy shop, click on the Tools tab and select the Keyword tool. When doing our keyword research, we want to start broad and narrow our way down. If you're selling this cozy, green, chunky knit blanket, it's better to start our search with blanket because E-Rank will be able to suggest more specific ideas based on this search. Remember, with a free plan, you only get five searches per day. So starting broad can help you to narrow down your possibilities without eating up your quota. This initial search will help us to find four associated terms that can be used in your listing. Once you've typed in your broad single word keyword, we want to spend some time on this page. E-Rank will display several important pieces of information, including the average monthly searches, average clicks, click-through rates, and competition for this term. And most likely all of these things will be really high since we've typed in a broad phrase. So don't worry too much about these numbers right away. Take a quick glance around the page, then scroll down to the keyword ideas box below. From this list, we wanna begin looking for possible keywords to experiment with in our tags and titles. Start by expanding our row to 100 per page so we can see all possible terms. With a free E-Rank account, you'll only be able to see the monthly search volume for your initial query on this table, but we can use these results to find our four keyword phrases to use in our listing. Next, I recommend noting your keyword list down here. This step is extremely important because it'll allow us to save the terms we're most interested in. That way, if you ever need to look at them again, you won't have to manually search for them. This will help you not to waste your quota later on. Your list can keep up to five keywords, so we want to be very selective about the terms that we choose. Looking at the list of keyword ideas, I'm going to select a few words that are closer to the top of the list, but that point to a very specific type of blanket and that have low competition, such as Chunky Blanket, which has just 12,338 competitors, and it perfectly fits the item that I'm selling. To save this keyword to your list, click the star icon on the left. If you click on your keyword list, you can see that we've saved this term to the list. If you ever need to delete a term, just pop open your list and click the orange X next to the word. Back to our keyword ideas list, I also found the term grandma blanket, which is a great keyword that also focuses on a specific recipient. We'll go ahead and add this one to our list as well. And though the competition is high for this one, I'm also going to add knit blanket to our list because this is a term that perfectly describes our item. Since we'll be nesting the word knit into our full title, we'll technically be narrowing down this phrase later in order to eliminate some of this competition, which I'll explain later. For now, we just want to add the term to our list because it accurately describes our item. I'm also going to add cozy blanket, another term with high competition, but that we'll be nesting within our entire keyword phrase later. And since we're selling an earthy colored green blanket, I'm also going to add the term moss blanket. While the term green blanket isn't on this list, moss fits the color of this blanket perfectly and would make a great descriptive term. Now that we have all five terms selected, we're going to open our keyword list and click view list. 
From here, we can now see all of those search volumes we couldn't previously see in our initial search. And we only used one search of our overall keyword tool quota, which means that we could technically remove these words when we're finished with this listing, then head back over to the keyword tool and repeat the process four more times in order to work on additional listings. Looking at the terms that we've selected for our blanket, everything looks pretty darn good in terms of searches. Let's see if we can craft up a good title using the five words that we've pulled from the keyword tool. Before crafting a title, it's important to understand how Etsy's algorithm reads these words. That way, we can optimize your title based on Etsy's ranking criteria. When it comes to Etsy SEO, there are two sides of the algorithm that we want to appeal to. One side likes to see our keywords exactly as the shopper types them in. This is called exact matching, and it will result in stronger keyword matching. For example, if someone searches for a chunky knit blanket, we would want to have the phrase chunky knit blanket completely intact in our title and tags to make an exact match. I like to call these keywords our superstar keywords because they are the VIPs of our listing. We want to make sure our superstar keywords really shine because your superstar keyword is ultimately what you want to be known for. The other side of the algorithm is a little less powerful, but still important for ranking. It's called broad matching. During the process of broad matching, Etsy plays a fun little game of mix and match, where they put words from your tags and titles together, regardless of whether or not those words are next to each other. For example, in the keyword phrase, cozy, moss, chunky knit blanket, we could exact match for chunky knit blanket, but we would broad match for cozy blanket, moss blanket, moss knit blanket, cozy knit blanket, chunky blanket, moss chunky blanket, and so on. Keeping Etsy's broad matching capabilities in mind, it's unnecessary to craft our title in a way that repeats the same words over and over again. For example, rather than saying moss knit blanket, chunky knit blanket, cozy blanket, we could instead say cozy moss chunky knit blanket because we will exact match for our superstar keyword, chunky knit blanket, and we'll broad match for the terms cozy blanket, moss blanket, moss knit blanket, and so on. Looking back at our keyword list, we also have the term grandma blanket. And since we know people are searching for blankets when shopping for grandma, and since it's March, we can assume people will also be shopping for Mother's Day gifts. So it would make sense to nest our grandma keyword into a seasonal Mother's Day phrase. This is one that we don't even need to search for because historically on Etsy, Mother's Day is one of the most shopped for holidays. And we already know that the word grandma blanket is searched for, which can help us to hypothesize that people may also be looking for blankets when buying gifts for grandma on Mother's Day. So adding this term to our keyword phrase, we now have cozy moss chunky knit blanket, Mother's Day gift for grandma. Remember, we'll still broad match for grandma blanket because both of these words are in our title even if they aren't right next to each other. And since Etsy specifically tells us that our title should be concise and reader friendly, this title is ready to be tested in our listing. Titles are just one step when it comes to keyword optimization, but with so many Etsy SEO videos on my channel, you may be wondering where to go next. Lucky for you, I've added my most essential Etsy SEO videos in a single toolbox, all in the exact order that I recommend watching them. Plus, that toolbox includes a free month trial of any E-Rank paid plan. That way you can bypass the pesky quotas and sprint through a full month of keyword optimization. You can grab that free toolbox up here and in the link down below. And if you want more tutorials covering E-Rank's free features, please let me know in the comments below. This is the time of year when I never really know what to cover because sales are slow for most industries on Etsy. So feedback from you guys helps me a ton. Until next time, Pookie.